Hello everyone. Today I am going to take you through a tutorial on how to run a Qt application on an iOS device. So let's start the tutorial. So first of all, here I have a Mac. Uh, I have a version uh, OS X Yosemite version 10.10.4. So for the first step, I mean to run a Qt application on an iOS is that you should have a command line tools already installed in your Mac. So if you don't have one, don't worry, you can just easily download by just clicking your Xcode and then going to developer tool and then selecting more developer tools. It will redirect you to the Apple developer website where you can download the command line tools for your Mac. So here I'm just uh, uh, showing, I mean, the command line tools for OS X 10.10 for Xcode 6.4, which is suited for my development environment so if you want if you don't have one you can download it from here for in my case i have i have already downloaded so i just ignore this step <coughs> i just ignore this step so the next thing is that uh, you have to download the qt source files from the github so just go to the browser and just <coughs> click in the google icon Qt kit so it will just show you the github link for the Qt project then just go click Qt base and just uh, click Qt github I um, mean HTTPS clone URL just clone it on your desktop so in my case I, wa I have already cloned so here is my Qt base uh, so folder which I have already cloned from the github so if you just click inside you can see all the Qt files I mean just got downloaded so the next step is just going to be building these uh, Qt source files for this just uh, go to the I mean uh, just go to a command line and just I mean uh, go to the folder uh, where you just download the Qt base I uh, just entered I'm just looking what are all the things inside the Qt base folder here is a configure file so uh, just so you have to just configure it I mean uh, for iOS so for that you have to type a command like this so I'm just copying this command I'm just pasting. I'm just and I'm just clicking enter. So it asks. Uh, I mean, if you want to use as an open source edition, of course I want to use it as an open source edition. So I'm just clicking O and just entering it. Then uh, it asks for the license agreement. Type S here and press enter. So that's all. Your configuration will begin. started to configure it started to create a QMake I mean just creating a make file for you so it's a little bit lengthier process it takes some time so wait for it So now the configuration has just ended. So it says that uh, Qt is now configured for building. Uh, so just run make. Then in the second line, it shows once everything is built, you must run make install. So the third step will be, I mean, Qt will be installed into user local Qt 5.6.0. So you have to just type here as make. And just click enter. I'm just showing you because I've already done this, and uh, 
Qt 5.6.0 has been already installed in my uh, Mac. So after run, um, after you, I mean, uh, making this uh, process, it will take some more time. After then, just uh, type uh, make install. So it will just get installed in your in this path user local and Qt 5.6.0. So now I'm taking you. Uh, to the path where I have just told you that I have installed. So, see, user local Qt. User local qt 5.6 is there go inside it i'm just listing all the files uh, that has been installed so thus uh, uh, you have just built uh, the qt 5.6.0 uh, in your mac for ios so the next step will be just running a sample application uh, it is very simple for that I have to, I mean, uh, there is already an iOS demo sample in the GitHub. This is the link for it. Just copy it and just uh, clone it on your desktop. So, I'm going to my desktop and I'm just pasting the link. Now, it's cloning from the Git repository. So, just uh, clone so here I could see the folder which has been cloned from the gate so I'm just going and being so that you can see this is a QT application with the QT demo.pro file in it so just so now we are going to run this on an Xcode so it is very simple uh, for this you have to go to the I mean the sample example folder so it is qt uh, sample ios demo so i'm just going to this and i'm just listing what are all the things available here so now i have to i mean build this uh, application i mean uh, in the way that I, now in a short way to say is i have to create an xcode project file for this i mean project it is very simple just go to the path uh, where uh, you have installed your Qt 5.6.0 user local and then Qt okay user local Qt 5.06. So uh, I'm just going. Sorry. Uh, 5.06. Then go to bin, and that's and just run qmake. So it says that creating stash file user around desktop. I mean dot. I mean it says that uh, Xcode project file has been created. So just you can go and check this by clicking uh, the folder. Mm. Now you can see that a new QTIOS.xcode project file has been created. Just double click it so that it will get opened in an uh, Xcode. So then just click run. I mean uh, to run in a simulator. Just click run the build starter. So this is how I mean uh, I mean this is how to develop I mean uh, to run a QT application on an iOS device. This is the simple process. So you can see that that in I mean in a QT simulator the application has been opened. So I can just run it. Uh, just building. Those things are just 
the remains of already the things that I already built and tried it so you can just skip that so now it opens a new one so you can I mean the uh, simulator is just starting you can just click the thing and you can see this is the demo application so if I click it will create one QT logo so that's all this is a simple tutorial on developing a QT application which runs on an iOS device. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.